Hi, I'm Dr. Ann Louise with several terrific questions from Facebook. So I want to take this opportunity and answer them for you. Natalia asks, Ann Louise has always been very helpful in giving advice and recommending supplements. Thank you. I'd like to know if there is a new approach or additional supplements on the market to treat H. pylori. I did her gut flush plan back. I did her gut flush plan according to the book, felt much better, but now the beast is back again. I started the triple drug therapy and planning to supplement it with mastic gum, DGL, and probiotics. Am I doing the right thing? So my answer to you, Natalia, is H. pylori sometimes can be a very difficult little bugger to get rid of. It is the most prevalent bacterial infection in the world, affecting nearly three quarters of the world's population. So you can see that you're not the only one that may be struggling. Seems like it's a very tenacious bacteria and probably is one of those more resistant bacteria because it's had a chance to mutate with all the antibiotics that are get, that are we're taking in our system or that we're getting second hand that may be in the water or in the food. Having said that, I do know the traditional doctors recommend a triple drug therapy, which is a combination of very strong antibiotics. So uh, you're under a doctor's care. I applaud that, and I certainly would encourage you to follow through with that therapy. In addition, you're talking about mastic gum, which seems to be very helpful in terms of coating both the duodenum and the stomach and protecting against further uh, replication of the H. pylori. And in some research says it can actually be very healing. And DGL, a deglycerized licorice, which is also known to be very helpful. So you're doing two things in terms of the natural armory of things. Uh, that are very good. And probiotics, of course, if you're taking the triple drug therapy, you want to take a heavy dose of your probiotics at least two hours before or after the heavy dose of the antibiotics. But there is one thing else I would suggest based upon some interesting research that I've been doing with regard to glut glutamine, L-glutamic acid to be exact. A glutamine is a very healing amino acid which is very good for mucosal membranes. Now it's used to heal uh, H. pylori infections, it's used to heal ulcers when sometimes that H. pylori is the precursor to an ulcer. And it's also very helpful because it seems to enhance immunity, particularly the gut immunity. So I would include in your natural armament uh, besides the mastique, the DGL, and the probiotics, I'd also include some, um, some glutamine. Now, you've got to take that in cold water. It uh, is deactivated in heat, and I would be taking at least 5 to 10 grams a day between meals or right before meals. So in terms of doing the right thing, I think you got everything that you need as far as getting rid of that H. pylori. Be very careful with the foods that you eat. Sometimes chicken and sometimes eggs can also be um, carriers. So let's make sure that if you're eating any of those foods that they're well cooked, that they're organic, that they're range fed, and of course that they're Cloroxed if in fact you're eating those at home. So that is my advice to you, Natalia. Thank you very much for posting. Another